So we're going to drill um, some side control attacks. And just basic stuff. So kind of give you some things to work on when you get to this spot. You're like, ah, oh, what do I do, right? So I'm going to work on first. Uh, turn. So this is a way I like to get to a Kimura. There's a bunch of ways, right? So I could show you the standard way. Up this, I'm not, which is not what I'm going to do tonight. I'm inside control here, right? I pin this, feed the arm down for that Americano, right? He's going to straighten his arm. That's what everybody does, right? And then I switch and try to get this arm to the back, right? This is how we go for it. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going right? to, I like to isolate the arm. So to leave him one thing to deal with, all right? So when he's framing, right, this arm is in here where it's supposed to be. We've got his head. I want to get my knee inside this elbow. Okay. So I'm going to bring my knee, almost like I'm going to touch my other one and open it. Okay. Once this happens, I'm tight, right? And I'm going to eventually bring my knee up and go right over it. Here. All right. So a lot of you have probably seen me do this. I'm going to have my ankle and I'm going to staple it with my shin. Okay. I'm under his head. Here. Right? Now, from this spot, I'm going to block his hip. Here, and I'm going to windshield wipe my legs. Here, so I never let his arm out. Now, this is going to go over. Now, you see where I'm at with this arm, right? So he's either going to loop here, or he's going to loop here, okay? What I really want is him to go over my head this way, okay? He's not going to like, go back to the way. He's not really going to like this position, because he's going to feel the arm bar, right? So this is kind of what happens, okay? So here, I'm going to work on just getting control here, okay? Turn so it's actually going to be more here. So I'm going to get it here. This is fine. Step here, all right? And I pinch, and I go for that compression arm bar. So one more time. So he's framing. That's what he's supposed to do. I'm going to come up under his elbow, step over. And I'm going to start to peel, okay? And I go for that finish. I don't care that I'm going to get it. What he's going to do to defend it is he has to rotate his arm. Catch. Right? And once I, once I get to this spot, I don't want to stay light. I want to go here, wrist, uh, wrist to wrist, knuckles to his ribs, pinch the knee, gets his back, like Dustin Dennis style. And then I'm going to take it back, okay? I don't really want to go this way. Some people have a lot of dexterity in their shoulders. Knuckles to his ribs. They're going to almost arm crushing, then turn. Becomes easy. Okay. Now, nice thing about that, and I'll show that here in a minute. If for some reason, like I botched that or something's off, I can turn it into an arm bar too. Okay. I can easily step over. I'm already there. Does that make sense? I can just pivot on that foot and take an arm bar. Okay. So, he's framing, okay? Get that knee inside, okay? Now, right over the top. So I've stapled that arm, right? Block his hip, okay? Windshield wipe, here, come over, okay? So I'm stapled over his bicep. I do not want to be on his forearm because he's going to pull that arm out. I want my shin, when he tries to rip his arm out, I want his elbow to catch. It's not going to come out. The joint's going to catch on the mat in between the, my, the mat and my shin. Does that make sense? If I'm directly on his elbow or on his forearm, I'm going to get on his elbow and you'll watch. Uh, turn one. So just so you can see. On your elbow. Okay. Yeah. Pull your arm out. Okay. So staple, pull, it's not going to come out, the joint's going to get stuck. So that's what I want to happen, all right? So, here, sorry, over the top, lock, windshield wipe, he never gets a chance to take that out. Here, now turn. He's framing, right? I'm going to go under the elbow. Okay, over here is fine. I can easily take an arm bar. It doesn't matter. If he keeps it tight, I'm just going to peel it, 
Step, turn. Here, get it to where I really threaten it. He's either gonna turn, catch, catch, knuckles to his ribs, pitch, finish, okay? Super easy. It's gonna lock up that shoulder. It's just not gonna move much. It's gonna be a quick tap. Now, in reality, what I also like is I'm gonna get a rubber band effect from his arm, okay? Don't do this with your drilling partner. And I'm gonna stop. It's gonna look terrible, but it's not gonna hurt him. So here, he turns that arm, I'm gonna slap it down right into it. So he'll be, he'll be yelping when I catch it. I'm just gonna go right down, just slap it. I'm gonna use the momentum of him turning that thumb down and slap it into position, okay? I don't wanna do that in here because I don't want somebody to take it too far, okay? But just catch it, knuckles to the ribs, okay? And I won't do the whole thing, but so. When I have this up here, if he if he wraps this tall, right? Like he sticks that arm too further, right? Here, at any point here, I can just turn. Okay. So I can always turn it into that arm lock if I want. There's very few places for him to go out of that kimura. Okay, that shoulder lock. The arm bar, you got guys that defend it pretty well, and they're willing to take an elbow pop to get out too. But they're not going to do that with the Kimura, okay? Any questions so far? Um, I'm going to go this way so, can see. Right. so he's in, right? His elbow's in. My right knee's going to come inside, open, okay? I got pressure on him, go over the top, here, okay? He's not going to pull his arm out, lock his hip, windshield what? Cross my feet, switch. He never gets a chance to pull an arm out. Okay? Now, over his head. Move. Turn. Okay. Frame him. Catch under his elbow. Step. And I'm going to peel here. When it turns, use my head. Catch. No thumbs. Four fingers. Four fingers. Here. Here. To his ribs, pinch the knees, turn. Okay. Does that make sense? Any questions? Don't uh, overthink it. Um, I'll probably stop and talk about what happens if he grabs his belt. Maybe I'm too late to get my grip and you know get it behind his back. Maybe he gets his belt or something. We can talk about ways to break that. Okay. We good? All right. Get your partners. One, two, three.